So we're leaving Dingle Peninsula and the town of Dingle and we've had a fab time. So we are now on further south down the Wild Atlantic Way and heading towards the Ring of Kerry. Inch Beach is more like a mile beach. Absolutely. It's huge. <laughs> so we're just on our way uh, down to um, the Ring of Kerry and we've picked up two hitchhikers. <laughs> so we've got Christina and Alexandra from, uh, from Canada. And uh, we're gonna give them a lift down towards Killarney. We might get them singing. Well, we were talking about like, so we've got, you've got like carpool karaoke, right? Yeah. So we were saying that every time we pick up hitchhikers, we should start like a camper van karaoke, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. We're not expecting you to <laughs> We've just driven through the town of Kilorgrin and it's the beginning of the famous Ring of Kerry. So we've heard so much about the Ring of Kerry. So we're really looking forward to the next couple of days of exploring the best that it has to offer. head and we've come across Bally Carberry Castle which you can see behind me um, a lovely ruin um, you can't actually walk around the castle grounds um, but we're gonna fly the drone up and have an aerial view of the castle so watch this get the bridge over to Valencia Island. Looks beautiful. Flying low under the radar Like a night 
hawk stealth plane you are So we've come down to Bray Head and there's a fabulous view towards Skellig Michael. Um, the car park, we were hoping to park up here overnight. It's two euros per two hours or 10 euros overnight. So you can park up here, um, but I think that we're gonna probably carry on along Valencia Island. But the views behind me are absolutely stunning. Um, you can see all the boats going out to Skellig Michael. Um, what a wonderful place. Yeah, the boats are hammering out of the harbour straight across to Skellig Michael. Um, we looked at the budget and we thought very hard about our trip to Skellig Michael. And we decided that actually um, my horse riding, being a little bit selfish, uh, was something that was always on my to-do list. Um, and also, Brendan and Michelle took us out on their boat and we had a look at loads of little pinnacles and islands. Uh, whilst we were down with them. So we decided that in the grand scheme of our to-do list, um, they weren't on our top priority. We've also had so many people mention, recommend, and tell us the best views, the best and most beautiful places in Ireland. Newsflash, it's all stunning. All of it is spectacular. Um, wherever we go, it is just lovely. Um, so thank you for your suggestions and we're trying to fit them all in but it's proving tricky so in case you don't know Skellig Michael is one of the islands um, off the Ring of Kerry off, it's actually off uh, Valencia Island um, you can see it it's where they filmed one of the Star Wars movies and although there is probably availability for boats to actually get onto the island is actually quite difficult and you have to book months in advance but um, they do do trips out around the islands where you can see the islands but um, you don't actually go off the boat um, and although that's something we'd love to do we just thought budget permitting let's skip it yeah. and uh, we'll save we'll save it because we have overspent a few days doing doing little treats and having a few cheeky pints of Guinness and things. <laughs> like a bit of a steep hill coming up. <laughs> I've met this fabulous lady called Kay Cooney and her friend Sharon and um, she's going through that dilemma that we went through of downsizing and getting everything ready. So in our little tiny van Trudy she's given us a gift. I will show you the gift later. But these are the fabulous ladies we've just met from the States. Hello. Oh, hello. We are inspired by this couple. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I don't have a place. I'm, I have no place now. But you do. Um, so you have friends. And they I are know. your place. I know. I'm a citizen of the world. She's a citizen of the world. To the tiny house. To the tiny a house. Global citizen. A global citizen. And she's right. so well travelled. And she picked up a little something when she was in Nepal. And she's yes. just gifted it to us. And it's a game with tigers and goats. So we will treasure it in our little <laughs> tiny Trudy van. And uh, we will see you in the States. We'll see you in, Cal in that's probably the West Coast. Probably. You yeah. know. Wherever you end oh, up, who knows? who knows? You might be on a van. <laughs> My brother is a storyteller here in Ireland. He's a ah. Shamaki. And he has a great saying that says, don't buy any ripe bananas. That's a very true thing. We never buy ripe bananas. I live by not by live by not by ripe bananas. There you go. Thank you so much, ladies. We'll see you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye. Well, what a place we've parked up tonight. We're overlooking behind me. You can see Valencia Island right at the end um, of the Ring of Kerry um, on the far west side, and the islands in the background, right in the back there, is Dingle Town. 
and the head where we parked a couple of nights ago and the sun is setting beautifully. This is one of the many viewing points um, car parks on the Wild Atlantic Way. And at this time of night, there's nobody here. You get the odd car every you know hour or so, but there's nobody here and it's a beautiful, quiet spot to, um, to come and sleep. And what a view. Um, so yeah, so we've done half of the Ring of Kerry and um, what's really cool here as well is that you can actually see Skellig Michael which is the famous island from Star Wars um, in the sea behind me and it's they're really unusual looking islands I don't know whether you can see them in the back but we'll show you some other clips um, and it's just mind-blowingly beautiful I'm cooking dinner but I'm also charging the um shaver for your head because uh, you told me you wanted a haircut. I do. So we've got, uh, when we had the van um, tweaked for our requirements with the solar panels, we also found chargers and adapters that are either USB or 12 volts um, that we can plug in and we had a very cool gadget. Um, well, we have a very a cool gadget. Converter, inverter. That, yeah, converter, inverter that you plug into the 12 volt, but it gives you a socket, USB chargers, and we've checked, and I can use my epilator, Chris, his shaver. So um, I'm going to cut his hair in a bit. I love short hair, and this is because I don't have much hair on top. This is uh, this is quite long for me, so I really like short hair. So I'm quite looking forward to having it, and I'm too lazy to brush it in the morning. Um, but my beard is getting a little bit it's getting a little bit long and a little bit itchy, so I might give my beard I might charge up the beard trimmer to give it a little trim. It's getting unruly. It's starting to look like an unruly person. Honestly, the sky over there is I fabulous. I know. Oh wow. Really, really unusual tonight. You can't actually see the sun. It's gone behind the clouds, but look in the background. And I'm actually I've actually got my camera set up over on the grass in the distance doing a time lapse of the, of the sunset so fingers crossed hopefully it comes out and shows you the true beauty of that because that is absolutely fam dabbly elastic. So what are you doing Christopher? So it's time to have a shave, there's nobody around, I found my shaver. Beautiful sunset though. At the moment there's enough battery so we're gonna just we're just gonna trim it. Do I look younger? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, now it's time for my haircut. <laughs> you sound like a lunatic. What grade are we? Uh, I don't know. I just did. Took, I just grabbed one. Oh, don't move. What do you mean? You just grabbed one. <laughs> what do you mean? You just grabbed one. It's fine. Trust me. I'm your wife. Do I look ten years younger? You look very handsome. <laughs> And this look worked really well, so we stick it, stick the. I've got it. You have the window. Stick that out the. Out the window, yeah. and it goes into the twelve volt socket. Yep. And then I was able to cut it on the floor. There you go. Da, da, da. It's there's been a black. There's been a black sheep around. Mm -hmm. 